Good day guys, welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Sunday Best Tire Dressing. Okay, so as I mentioned in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at Sunday Best car care tire dressing. Uh, this is a newer, smaller company that we have been uh, checking out and testing some of their products and seeing how they work and bringing a review to you. Before we get this video kicked off, please remember to smash that thumbs up if you like this video. If you didn't, feel free to hit the thumbs down. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Click the bell, turn on all post notifications so you don't miss a future upload. And always feel free to drop a comment down below of what you thought of the video, the products, any of that. I love chatting with you guys in the comment section down below. We're just gonna go over a few things that Sunday Best has to say about their tire dressing. Sunday Best Car Care Tire Dressing. Ultimate shine, easy dilutable formula. Shine lasts up to six weeks. One, determine the level of shine desired. For high gloss, use it full strength. One to one, for a satin finish, dilute four ounces of filtered water to one ounce of TD1. Two, spray three to four spritzes onto an applicator. Three, using the applicator, massage the product into the surface, ensuring a nice, even coverage. Apply more dressing to the applicator as necessary or if desired. Four, if using on interior surfaces or to remove excess shine, simply take a dry microfiber towel and buff the surface, removing any excess product. Pro tip, make sure the surface is clean and free of any other dressings before application. Not doing this may result in product slinging off the tire. Only apply to cool surface and out of direct sunlight if possible. So that is what Sunday Best Car Care has to say about their TD1 tire dressing. Uh, we are gonna be using this at full strength. Um, I'm hoping that it doesn't leave a super high gloss shine because for me on my tires, I personally don't prefer a high gloss shine, uh, a nice satin shine, or if it does have a little bit of gloss to it, it's totally fine with me, but I wanna see how this product performs at full strength. Also, how it is to apply, is it leaving any high spots? Is it hard to massage in the tire? We're gonna get the full fill of this product using it and not diluting it, uh, because once you dilute it with some water, of course it's probably gonna be a little bit easier to massage into the surface and to get your even coverage. Uh, so I wanna see what kind of shine does it leave behind using it at full strength and only doing one coat. If you are interested in this product and you wanna see me dilute it and you wanna see what that finish looks like on a tire, please drop that down in the comments below. I would love to make that video for you if that is something that you would like to see. So I'll just be using a foam applicator block to apply this. We'll see how thick this is. So if you don't take the plug out, it seems to be very thick. <laughs> Got the plug out of the bottle, put the cap back on, and we'll put a little bit on the applicator. We'll see what kind of coverage we get, how even it is. So as you can see there, it definitely is a bit thicker. Has kind of a iridescent look to it. It's kind of a blue red. Also will take on kind of a gray look. So what I always like to do is kind of smooth it out so I'm not just blobbing it on the tire. So we got a little bit on the applicator, so let's see what this looks like on the rubber. So I have thoroughly cleaned these tires. The rubber is clean, it's ready to accept a tire dressing. It goes on very even. And I really do like how it is making that rubber look. It's not too shiny. It's also not dull. It just has a really nice look to it. It's kind of weird because when you put it on the tire, it has a blue tint to it. In the bottle, it's kind of a bluish red. So very unique coloring. goes on super easy it's very level there's nothing that's a high spot where it's super shiny and as I said I really do like the way it's made that rubber look all right so as you can see coming in for this closer look I am really really liking 
the shine that this has left. And as I mentioned, there's not any high spots. And it says that this will last up to six weeks. It has a really good scent, kind of like a fruity scent in a way. But the finish that is left on this tire is, I'm going to say personally, one of my favorite. We'll come in, we'll just wipe the tire. And as you can see, it is dry to the touch. As it sits here and soaks into the tire, it is going to be even drier. It's not going to collect dust or dirt. Huge plus. If you want more shine, you can come in and add a, another application. I do not, so I'm not going to. But you can increase your level of shine by coming in and hitting it again after this is set and give it a little bit of time to soak into the rubber to basically boost up the gloss of the tire. But for me, that is the perfect finish. I absolutely love how this stuff looks on there. This smells good, very easy to apply, amazing finish. I'm going to say this is one of my favorite tire shines so far. I'm gonna go ahead, get the tire shine on the other three tires, and then we'll come in for my final thoughts. Okay, so I went ahead and got it applied to all of them. I just wanna show you. But in the sun, it definitely will have a bit more of a sheen. It's nothing crazy. When it's in the shade, it definitely shows it a lot better. So we'll go around to the other side so you can see it in the shade. But I absolutely love the way that this stuff looks. Like I mentioned, very easy to apply. Levels very easily. Has a great finish on it. And an awesome smell while you're using it as well. So coming around to this side over here in the shade, We'll get closer to it, and as you can see, it has an awesome finish to it. I am absolutely loving it. So really great tire shine, personally, for the price. If it holds up for that six weeks, as they claim, well worth the money, even if it doesn't hold up for that six weeks, well worth the money, because as much tire shine as you're gonna get in that bottle is gonna last you a very long time, and you're gonna get amazing results with it like this. All right, so there you go. There is using Sunday Best Car Care TD1 tire dressing. What did you guys think of it? Overall, this product was very easy to use. Very nice coverage, delivers really good results. The tires are to my liking. I think they look really good, really sharp. So that is what I'm looking for in a tire dressing. You also saw where I touched the tire. It did not leave any excess residue on my hands from this tire dressing. So that is not going to attract dirt and dust and just kind of accumulate on the tire. Also, the tire is not soaking wet. So when you go to drive, it's not gonna sling it up onto your paint and you're gonna have the tire dressing on your paint, collecting dust to have those nice little black spots. I hate that after I get done washing my car, you take it for a drive. Next thing you know, you got tire dressing on your paint. Super annoying. But as I mentioned, with this product, definitely a two thumbs up product. Really enjoyed using it. It's very cool, the color of it. It's that reddish purple kind of iridescent. When you put it on the tire, it changes to that blue, which is very interesting, kind of cool. Uh, does that have any significant uh, value to it? I personally don't know. All I know is that it went on the tire really easy and it made the tire look really good. So personally, the color was kind of cool. It's kind of like a color changing product in a way. I know it's not labeled as that. I'm sure it is just the chemical makeup and properties within this tire dressing. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Maybe this is a product that you have not heard about. You saw it being used on the review here and it is something that has got your interest. I will link their information in the video description down below. So if you wanna go check them out and pick any of these products up, you can just click that link easily, head right on over and check out the products and what they have to offer. But I wanna thank you all so much for stopping in and taking time out of your day to check out this video. That means the world to me. And as I mentioned, please remember to smash that thumbs up if you like this video, or if you did not, feel free to hit the thumbs down. Also drop a comment down below. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Click the bell, turn on all post notifications so you don't miss a future upload like this if you're enjoying this content. But I will catch you guys all in the next one. And until then, take care. Mm -hmm.